I had a big apartment building phase in this game a few months ago. It was like all I wanted to build. And luckily, I think horses kind of pulled me out of that a little bit. I switched into a horse phase instead for a while. But the problem is that I think I'm falling right back in because all I've been thinking about today is how badly I want to decorate an apartment. I've actually got a whole bunch of ideas for this needs TLC apartment in Sam Shuno. It is really, really small, but that's kind of what I like about it. It's only a little square. And you know, just before we get started, can I just have a quick little plea to the Sims team that maybe, just maybe, could you be so kind and give us a few more apartments in the game? I know I say it every single time I make an apartment video, but please, I am begging you, I want more so bad. I, I won't get too far into it. I'll stop. I'll stop. But I just, I had to make my desires known. Anyway, this is the apartment. Obviously, like I said, it's very small. It's only a starter home. And because of that needs TLC trait, which by the way, you cannot remove, it's stuck there. It's got a whole bunch of issues. For example, um, there's some rats. <laughs> if you have your Sims live here, there'll be rats coming out. You might see roaches. Oftentimes you'll have gas leaks or like leaky pipes. Living here can be kind of rough for your Sims, but that's, that's part of the fun, right? There's always some joy in your your Sims suffering, right? <laughs> okay, well anyway, I'm gonna delete all of this stuff because I think I'm gonna try and start from scratch in here. But with the exception of a couple items that I can't delete, things like these pipes are stuck, I can't get rid of them. Well, that leaves us with a kind of gross empty square. Before we get too far into the build, I wanna tell you a little bit about our sponsor today, this really, really fun new game called Brick City. It is a sandbox city building mobile game. And as you know, I love this kind of thing. It's set in the future and in it, you're trying to revive the earth and build a brand new beautiful city. There's over 7,000 different bricks blocks available at launch. So this game is a really good outlet for creativity because you can kind of make your wildest ideas come to life. You use these bricks blocks to transform your ideas into reality, either using your own blueprints or blueprints made by others. And you can construct this beautiful city using landmarks and shops and parks or literally anything in between. You can build your own world, you can customize everything, and you can even visit other players' unique cities. When you do visit those cities, you've got the chance to unlock some exclusive blueprints and new Brick City residents. I've been fostering some cats, so I've been playing this game a lot while sitting in their room hanging out with them, and I've been having a blast. It's just really fun. I've kind of got a lot going on right now, so this game has been a real nice escape from just the chaos of everything. You can really immerse yourself in this super cute, fun, and joyful world. The music is so soothing. It's just really good vibes. If you want to check it out, Brick City is available on both iOS and Android. You can download it by clicking my link down below or by scanning this QR code on the screen. So thank you so much to Brick City for sponsoring this video. I have been really loving the game and I think that you'll all enjoy it too. And with that, let's get back to the build, shall we? I think to start out, I'm just gonna paint all of the floors and walls with plain stuff just to give us a blank slate. One of the main problems that I have with this apartment, and I do like it, it's just that it's such a big, giant cube. Like the walls are so tall that it kind of makes things difficult for me. I would so much prefer if this were short wall height, like low ceilings, kind of dark. I don't even mind it having very few windows. Like that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for, but I, I just wish that I could change the wall height. I have that problem with every single apartment in this world though, they're all too tall. And I was thinking maybe we could try to embrace it in this version, because I usually try to do things to pretend that it's not happening, like add platforms and split levels. But what if we tried to use some of the industrial loft kit because there's these really cool ceiling decorations. Hold on, I lost them. These, we have these cool ducts that we could maybe try and add in. They're a little bit distracting for gameplay because they do block a lot of what you can see. But I think that might be kind of interesting to have some exposed ducts and vents like this. And maybe it makes the pipes look more intentional. We can try to embrace them as part of the style instead of like trying to hide them. I don't usually add this sort of like industrial vibe to my build, so I'm kind of excited to try. I think that maybe the bedroom should stay where it was originally. They had a bathroom kind of like right here, right? We could potentially keep something like that. I do think the long hallway is pretty realistic, but then part of me is also wondering if I could maybe have the bathroom here, but I don't know. That does just kind of complicate things. The original floor plan was the original floor plan for a reason, and it's because it made the most sense. Sometimes it's hard to adjust the floor plan too much in apartments because there's only so much that you can work with. I can't like move the door or windows. Should we use this thing from the industrial loft kit? That might be really cool. We can kind of make it almost like a studio that way with this being open. Oh, I would love to find a way to use this somewhere, but it's, it's just not gonna work. Like it would be a very bad idea to put this window inside the building. If we're going for a more industrial look, should we do 
polished concrete on the floors? Like, should we do some sort of concrete instead of doing wood? I guess we could do that and then try to add rugs in to warm it up a little bit. And then we've got to use brick, some sort of exposed brick. I just don't really know which color scheme. The building has no brick at all. <laughs> so sometimes I like to try and pretend that I'm using the same one from outside, but I'm not, I'm not gonna use this wallpaper. I'm sorry, but I'm just not. These are the ones that come with city living. I just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like them is the problem. I do like this one. Maybe I could use that one. Oh my God, I just realized, can you paint the ceiling in apartments? Oh, <gasps> you can. I haven't tried that yet since the update came out. Okay, I'm looking at some real life pictures, trying to get some inspiration here. They have like beams up there, which we can't really recreate. How strange would it be if I had metal? on the roof. We could try and pretend that it was the top floor of the building and then we could have that metal on the ceiling. I really like the idea of this metal and I think it's gonna look cool with the ducks hanging from it. Although they are a different color. Is that gonna be a problem? They come in black. I don't really wanna use them in black though. Maybe I'll use them in silver. This apartment has that concrete floor. They also have a black wall, which is kind of cool. I might try and do that too. Do you think I should try and do it like this going all the way across the whole apartment? I can't tell if it's really weird or not. I just I'm, I don't know. I don't usually build stuff like this, so I'm kind of experimenting. Oh, we should use this item. That's gonna look so good with the tall walls. This is not gonna be a starter home anymore, by the way. I just want to warn you now, <laughs> it's not gonna be cheap. I like these dream home decorator cabinets because they have that concrete countertop. I think I'm gonna use some relatively expensive kitchen stuff, like a pricey fridge and stove. What does it look like if I get this item? The metal is just not really the same color. There's like all these different shades of metal happening. If I'm gonna do stainless steel like this, I kind of want it to all match. There is this version as well, which I don't know. I guess the base of it matches better and then it adds in some black. I'm envisioning some open shelving on these walls instead of cabinets. I really like these bar stools because they have kind of that cool metal base, but then the seat is a little bit more interesting. And we'll do bar stools instead of any sort of dining table. I was originally picturing that I'd put a desk in here, kind of built in, but I don't think there's enough walking space. So maybe I'll do a bookshelf instead. That doesn't really look built in. Oh, would that fit over here? Or does that take up too much room? I could open it. We don't need to have an extra wall. The place is already small and closed in enough. Plus I can't see anything because of these. Let me just cheat for some money. We don't need to worry about price. So the industrial loft kit has a bunch of stuff that might work really well in here. At least I would hope so, considering that is like the exact vibe that I'm going for. If there's gonna be a time that I'll use the industrial loft kit, it's today. I don't really like this coffee table, so I don't know if I'll use that. I haven't decided. There is this cool bookshelf one instead. I kind of want to hide the vent. Is that bad? Because it's like underneath the chair. I don't know if that's a good idea. I do like the leather swatch on these sofas. I feel like that's kind of realistic. And then maybe the, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that rug. I don't think I like it. Let's get a huge TV and maybe I can build a custom TV stand using some cabinets. Are there any sort of wall lights that feel kind of industrial like sconces I could use? Like this kind of thing, but if it were vertical instead, what about these? Ooh, I like how it brings in some of the brown because we have the brown wood accents. There is a city living fuzzy rug that we could use instead. Um, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Oh, are there, in wait, aren't there industrial loft kit bar stools? Oh, I totally forgot about these. The problem is I don't think I want to use them. I think I like the ones I picked better. I mean, just because they exist doesn't mean that we have to use them. Should the rug be black? Maybe I could do black and then have a different colored couch. Something about the black is not fitting with the couches. I just don't know what's wrong with it. So maybe I'll hold off and we can fix it once we've stared at it for a while. Oftentimes when I'm struggling with stuff like this in a Sims build, I let myself just kind of stare at it for a while because usually that helps me figure out what I want. I need to like look at it and let it soak in <laughs> before I can figure it out for real. I think I'll use brick on this wall. And then maybe we could do, I don't know. I want to have a black accent wall too. So right now I'm hiding some of these little tables inside of these shelves because I want to make it look like they've got legs. Obviously it's an extra expense, but I think it looks cooler that way. Are there any other wall decor things? Oh, let's go find some stuff we want to use like these items. That's got keys and mail. I'm looking for extra pipes and things. I'm going to try and add some in and maybe, oh, oh no. <laughs> I was going to try and use them in that same coppery color, but 
Um, I do not like that. <laughs> Maybe I could just use it in gray. Oh no, that's way too big. Not that much. Oh, I used to be obsessed with these beams. These came with get to work and I used to use them all over the place when I would try and make industrial builds, but I was like a child and I didn't really know what I was doing. So it didn't look that good. I'm not sure if I want to use the industrial loft kit bed. I do like the frame around it. I just am not obsessed with the color scheme. This place is turning very brown. <laughs> which is fine. It's just not that interesting. The industrial loft kit also has nightstands. My worry with that is just that if I use these nightstands and I use the bed, it becomes very matchy matchy. Like all of a sudden this whole room is the same. There is this item. Maybe I could use the bed and the table because this could be like a cool bar height table desk. And then maybe over here I can get a different dresser. This one is from City Living and it's quite skinny. It also doesn't match. <laughs> the wood color isn't the same. Oh no. There's the base game one. This one's quite skinny too. The window being so tall makes it look kind of weird. I wonder if I could get a big curtain panel. Okay, hear me out. If we did something like this with a ginormous curtain panel, basically the idea here being to pretend that the window is bigger than it is by covering more of the wall with curtain. Maybe we can get a fancy gaming PC, something like this. This one in gold is kind of scary. <laughs> what about this PC? No, I like I like the big curved monitor better. We're gonna have to do a whole bunch of alt placing of decorations to make this work because you can totally tell that the desk is clipping with the curtain. Bookshelves help and then maybe, I don't know, what sort of art? City Living has some really tall pictures, right? Because that might be good for this. Something really tall to fill up the scale of the wall with the curtain. Of course, I'm not really loving the color scheme of any of them. That one kind of matches though. Okay, imagine that is the desk area and we say it's finished. Should I put ducks in here too? What if they were just kind of along the side? up at the top like that. We could maybe have this go all the way through the building. I don't know. I can't tell if it's bad or not. Also, I need a bathroom door, which I totally forgot about. I think eco lifestyle may be kind of cool for this because the door has that cool trim around the outside. I'm wondering about these pictures. I'm not really a big quote on the wall person, but I do think those are cool. And I like the black and white combo. This item is technically a table, like as far as the game is concerned. But to me, it always looks like a bench, which is perfect for this. I'm gonna try and use it to get a little bit of storage. Like maybe I could put some shoes underneath. I can put my favorite plant next to it. I'm sorry, I have to. Obviously we'll have this little item and maybe I can hang these bags up near the bench. I guess that's helpful because you could take that when your Sims go shopping or whatever. Obviously, again, your Sims don't shop. <laughs> they don't actually take any of these things. I'm just pretending, but it's fun for me to pretend. Ooh, very, very fancy light. Well, maybe not fancy, but you know, very interesting horse ranch pendant light. In the bathroom. I think I'll use the new growing together stuff because it has this beautiful black and white swatch on it. Whenever I use that tub, I get a million questions asking where it's from, but it, it is from growing together and it's so nice. This is like my new favorite shower in the whole game. I was thinking about using the matching sink, but I don't know if it really fits the vibes that I'm going for. Ooh. Oh, very interesting. I never use this. This is the sink from the fitness stuff pack. What do you think about trying that? The ceilings are so tall. I need to get a big mirror in here. I just, I think part of the problem for me is me really hating it in rooms like this where the ceilings are taller than the room is wide because it just feels like cavernous in there. I think I should use that same flooring, but I will probably get a bath mat. I was trying to look up some inspiration photos just to get an idea of like what this sort of bathroom might look like in real life. I'm sorry, this is not for me. This is just not for me. The bathtub just kind of being out in the open. <laughs> I could never do that. I could never do that. I may pick a different tile for the floor though. I guess maybe the walls can just be plain white. I don't know. Oh, this is a good start. Okay, that adds something. A little bit more clutter, a little bit more color. Okay. We can work with that. So in the rest of the house, I have obviously been really avoiding decorating everything. <laughs> I need to paint all the walls. I think I'm gonna paint everything with this light brick color, with the exception of any accent walls we're doing, like maybe this black wall behind the bed. I have to pick a different nightstand because I don't want to use this one, but I want something that has similar vibes. Honestly, even this little one, maybe I could try and bring in more black accents this way. That might work. Oh, I forgot about these from the industrial loft kit. Do you think I can hang that above or is that all too close together? 
Oh no, that's fine. We can use those. Oh, there's so much silver happening in the kitchen. We need to add some decorations in there. I I'll get to it. How about this lamp? I used to use that in every single build that I did where I was trying to make it this style. And then there's these really cute paintings from cats and dogs. And I think I might try to use them on this wall, even if we just had two, because they look kind of like a set and it sort of matches the brick. Plus it has a nice black frame. Okay. Okay, sometimes I have to convince myself that things are good. <laughs> you can probably tell when I do that in my videos. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, we can we can do this. <laughs> this will be good. Yeah, I like that bedroom now. We just have to go back and add plants and decor like literally everywhere else in the house. I wonder if I can get away with these paintings going up the wall. I could probably get away with using all four of them if I really wanted to. Again, I'm just kind of trying to find stuff that helps fill up the full scale of this wall. And there are four swatches on this. Actually, that's kind of cool. I really like how this kitchen is starting to look. Right now, I'm digging around through all of the kitchen stuff, trying to find what sort of things I want to put on these counters. I think I'll put some stacks plates and then there's also these little mugs that come in the clutter kit we can put those there too unless I want to make my own set oh it does look kind of weird with four just laid out like that doesn't it okay I am not going to try extremely hard to alt place this stuff and it's probably not gonna be worth it, but I'm gonna like it better this way. So I'm gonna go through and do all of that. Should I put more plates on another side or is that not worth it? There's also plates from the Snowy Escape pack. So maybe I could combine them or I guess we could just use those plates and maybe I could get more mugs or something. We do have this mug and then Cottage Living has a couple things that might work like this little pitcher. So maybe I could use that and then put I don't know, some sort of decor next to it. Oh, this is so annoying trying to place everything. Okay, I'm gonna try and alt place this little plant too close together. Scoot it over a little bit more. How about that? Nope, scoot it back a little bit more. How about that? Okay, no, wait, scoot it just a smidge over. There, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being so picky about this. It's just important to me. I, I want it to be beautiful. I might get a microwave. Mm, putting tea up that high is kind of ridiculous, right? Because you can't even access it. Oh, wait, I'm going to use these magazines. I forgot about those. This could be good. It looks like spices almost. All right, I think that's all of the clutter that I want to put on the shelves, but I do want to see about maybe putting some sort of pots on top of the fridge. I don't know. I think in a small apartment, that makes sense. It's just like in The Sims, you don't really need to do that, but <laughs> I do like it. I'll probably leave all of the other counters clear so there's plenty of cooking space. You might be wondering what the heck I am doing with this weird shelf. And the reason I'm using that is because I'm able to drag and adjust clutter so much more easily. Because if I try to raise things up, for example, to this height on their own, just by pressing nine, sometimes you can't get it to the exact right height. And if you look, oh my God, I'm lost. I was gonna say, if you look really closely, oh, Oh no. I was gonna say, if you look really closely, you can kind of tell that it's floating just a little bit above the table. It may be a little dramatic to be super worried about that, but I just, I prefer when I have the chance to try and make things fit all nicely. Those little tiny things bother me. <laughs> so they probably bother a bunch of you and I try my best to make them not as annoying. So I can use this shelf to get things to the right height. There's a mod for this too, but if you don't have the mod and you have Dream Home Decorator, you can use that shelf and it works great. I know for a fact there's Okay, here we go, the blanket basket. I do realize I just got done talking about trying to embrace these pipes, but I also think it might be nice to put something slightly in front of them. <laughs> just because we're embracing the pipes doesn't mean the pipes have to be like, you know, the whole main feature. So I can just get some blankets. That'll help. And then last, I'm just going around getting a few other little clutter items. Like for example, this little basket has like magazines in it from Parenthood. Maybe these Sims like dogs. Should they have a dog? Oh, I like the idea of putting a little dog bed. We can have a dog bed and then I can hide some toys and food bowls and stuff around. I don't have a trash can in here, but there is a trash can just in the hallway. They can use the trash chute out there, so it should be okay. I don't really like any of the dog's toy baskets. Like to me, this is kind of scary. And even the small one is not really small enough. That's kind of cute though. It looks more lived in in here. Okay, I'm just going through checking some last minute touches, but I think the house maybe is done. I'm sorry about all the things on the ceiling. I realize it's kind of annoying to look at, but look at, oh God, 
I keep getting lost. But look at it from in here. Isn't that quite cool? The angle up top. I think I'm pretty proud of this apartment. I hope that you like it. To give you a quick tour, over here by the front door, we have a very small bench. We put some shoes under it. I put the keys here, some bags. There's also a little mail shelf and a key hook. The bathroom is really small, but it's got a tub, a toilet, and a sink. I added a couple decorations there too. And then the kitchen, I think, is my favorite part. I am obsessed with this area. We have a small living room with a very nice TV. And then through into the bedroom, we have a very nice computer as well and a little bed. And that's the whole place. It's, um, you know, small, it's expensive, <laughs> and it also needs TLC. So if your sims come here, they're gonna be miserable. There's gonna be rodents. But I am gonna stick it on the gallery for you. I'm gonna call it industrial loft apartment. You might have noticed that I just deleted a couple walls. That is because when you upload apartments to the gallery, you can't upload them as like a lot. It has to be uploaded as a room. Kind of annoying, but that's the only way that it works. So I'm uploading this now. It's for 910 Medina Studios, that place where Salim lives. At least it's obvious that it's the little square one. <laughs> it's not as hard to find this apartment as some other ones. And then if you download it, you have to place it as a room. So you can grab this, I'm out of money, but you place it like a room. And then if you were to place it, you would just put those walls back. Again, I had to delete them so the game thinks the whole thing is one room, but it's not too hard to fix because it's only two walls. Make sure you don't forget to repaint them. And that, my friends, is the finished product. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have so much fun making apartments and I don't really use this kit very often. So it's kind of fun to use the industrial loft stuff. Before I go though, I want to remind you to check out Brick City and obviously a huge thank you again to them for sponsoring this video. It's available on iOS and Android and I've got it linked down below in case you want to check it out. And also you can obviously just scan this QR code. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my God, now I'm just thinking about how bad I want more kinds of apartments in this game again. I can't escape it. Every time I make an apartment, I have fun, but then I get sad because I want more.